Kate, I don't want your view on Facebook. I do want your view on a significant split that's emerged over the last several months. It's U.S. tech versus Chinese tech. That's right. I is that a fundamental story or one just drowning in macro risk because of trade? Well, I think it's a, a component of macro risk. I think there's also uh, concern, frankly, about you know how much bigger some of the large cap, mega cap companies could get. But we spent last week a number of BlackRock investors in China meeting with tech, uh, internet media companies, uh, some private, some public, yep. really get our, our fingers on the pulse. What I'll say is as everyone's been obsessing about China this year and thinking about um, policy tightening. It's been on the credit side. And what we really need to think about for this gigantic sector of the this very big market has been the policy tightening that's happened in the tech sector uh, around content, around licensing, uh, and around control. I think a lot of that's been digested by the companies right now, is reflected in earnings expectations. And with, as you point out, valuation differences between U.S. tech and, and Chinese tech reaching the highest level in the last 10 years, uh, we kind of feel like this is a nice time to start bottom fishing. Now, to be totally fair, I'm not sure I can identify a very near-term catalyst for yep. why the entire sector re-rates and rips, but at this point, we think we have good value, strong growth on both the consumer and enterprise side, and uh, that it's being underappreciated by the market. What kind of time horizon are you thinking about here? So I would say over the next 12 months. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of a, a fair time horizon because ripping into year end, while I can make a case for um, some rally, I think we need to get people more comfortable that geopolitical risk and supply chain risk are not going to weigh down the earnings prospects for these companies. For some people, including myself, I don't want to sort of tar everyone with the same brush. Chinese tech is basically these three companies, Baidu, Alibaba, Tencent. I imagine Chinese tech is a whole lot more than those three companies on the screen to you. Yes. Where are you looking for the opportunities outside of the names everybody knows? Well, there are lots of companies that are competing on the content side, but we're seeing huge amounts of user growth uh, and a lot of conversion on the ad revenue. So outside of the, the BAT, there's a lot to like on that side. But we were also really interested in some of the companies that were geared towards enterprise spending and cloud. I mean, this is a big target of the government to get more and more SMEs on the cloud by 2020 and to get more and more companies adopting technologies that will lead to scale growth. Um, I think companies that are geared towards these government projects and programs uh, are well positioned over the next year. Do you still see, and I sense a diplomatic tone from you, do, 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 do you still see a tech sector in China that is largely insulated from international competition? I do. I believe the dynamics in the Chinese tech sector are meaningfully different. The consumers that uh, they cater to and the potential for growth is meaningfully different than in a developed market.